Frida Kahlo was born on July 6, 1907. However, she always considered the start of the Mexican Revolution in 1910 as her birth year. Frida grew up in economic comfort. Her parents Guillermo and Matilda Kahlo benefited under the unpopular President Diaz as Guillermo received many photographic commissions from the government. As the government crumbled and war continued, the work slowed. The revolution was in part a nationalist rallying cry to overthrow Diaz and his love of foreign culture at the expense of a Mexican identity. Recuerdo que yo tenía cuatro años cuando la decena trágica. Yo presencié con mis ojos la lucha campesina de Zapata contra Carranza. La emoción clara y precisa que yo guardo de la Revolución Mexicana fue base para que a los 13 años de edad ingresara a la juventud comunista. Frida's communist beliefs would remain all of her life. Her political convictions only strengthened after meeting and becoming involved with Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera was a highly skilled painter and activist. His most popular works were frescoes depicting Mexican history and the working class. He urged Frida to pursue painting and had her model for the mural Insurrection at the Mexican Ministry of Education. Frida's relationship with Diego was the beginning of a lifelong obsession. In good times or bad, together or separated, in love or spite, Frida and Diego inspired each other. They were married on August 21st, 1929. Their love of Mexico's working class and a desire to instigate political change kept them active. Even when Frida was later on bed rest, she wanted to contribute to the Communist Party. Sin embargo, tengo ganas de vivir. Ya comencé a pintar. Tengo mucha inquietud en el asunto de mi pintura, sobre todo por transformarla para que sea algo útil al movimiento revolucionario comunista. Pues hasta ahora, no he pintado sino la expresión honrada de mí misma, pero alejada absolutamente de lo que mi pintura pueda servir al partido. Debo luchar con todas mis fuerzas para que lo poco de positivo que mi salud que deje hacer sea en dirección a ayudar a la revolución, la única razón real para vivir. In the 1930s, Frida and Diego became Trotskyites. Leon Trotsky was in exile after separating himself from Stalin's bureaucratic Soviet Union. Diego pushed Mexican President Lazaro Cardenas to permit political asylum for Trotsky. In 1937, Leon and his wife Natalia arrived in Tampico, Mexico. Frida greeted the pair, along with American Trotskyites, journalists, and local and state authorities. Frida housed the couple along with her entourage and security detail at her parents' house in Coyacan. During his day, Trotsky and Frida began a passionate yet brief love affair as Frida and Diego were separated at the time. After a falling out with Diego, Trotsky moved into his own villa, leaving behind Frida's gift of a self-portrait. Frida and Diego later denounced Trotsky in order to be readmitted to the Communist Party. Leon Trotsky was assassinated August 21st, 1940. During their time together, both Frida and Diego had many love affairs. Frida was never shy to share her sexuality or love for anyone, and Diego made it clear that he would not turn down affection. Frida shared her bed with men and women, some verified, some rumored. While Frida talked openly about sex, she kept her sex life private.
to call the relationship complicated is an understatement. Nadie sabrá jamás cómo quiero a Diego. No quiero que nada lo hiera. He sufrido dos graves accidentes en mi vida. Uno en el que un tranvía me derribó. El otro accidente es Diego. Diego, principio. Diego, constructor. Diego, mi niño. Diego, pintor. Diego, mi novio. Diego, mi amante. Diego, mi esposo. Diego, mi amigo. Diego, mi madre. Diego, mi padre. Diego, mi hijo. Diego, yo. Diego, universo. Diversidad en la unidad. ¿Por qué le llamo mi Diego? Nunca fue ni será mío. Es de él mismo. Towards the end of her life, Frida was in near constant pain. Alcohol and drugs only made the pain tolerable. After childhood polio, a nearly debilitating trolley crash, 32 surgeries, an amputated gangrenous foot, 28 body casts, innumerable tests, x-rays, and spinal taps, Frida surrendered to the pain. On July 14, 1954, Frida Kahlo, the famed painter, communist, lover, traveler, friend, and proud Mexican woman, died in her sleep. A lifetime of pain, love, fighting, and painting leaves a legacy that helped to shape a national identity. Frida Kahlo's paintings are immortalized in every form of popular culture. From movies, to wall murals, to baby costumes. Frida's soul lives on and continues to inspire. Espero alegre la salida y espero no volver jamás. <música>